Rolling. Hey guys, welcome back. Chef Nicole Dursway here. Today I have an amazing white gazpacho. So beautiful. I thought with a gazpacho, we should have a really special surprise guest for you guys. So I'm bringing in Christelle from Dancing Souls Film. Where my girl at? Hola. Ah! <laughs> okay, so you know a lot about different cultures and history because you're kind of like an international flavor yourself, right? I am. I'm originally French Salvadorian, but I lived in southern Spain, and gazpacho was crystallized in southern Spain. Gazpacho is a cold soup, originally from Arab origins. Ooh. So like the first gazpacho was full of almonds and lots of garlic, and it was a white one, so we're basically- Like ours today, yeah. like the OG. Yeah, we're taking it back to the OG. Let's start cooking it up. Up, okay? okay, you guys ready? Yeah, Let's do it. So, for this white gazpacho, it's almond based. So, you're gonna take just a half a cup of almonds and you put them in your food processor until you have this really nice almond flour. Also, thank you so much to Follow Your Heart for sending their gluten free vegan brioche bread. We've got a cup of that just cubed up. Take the crust off because we really want this gazpacho's finishing color to be a bright white. And um, we're just soaking them in a cup of water right now. It's just starting to get that tender. Yeah, and we've got some cucumbers, some parsley, mint, a little bit of white balsamic, some olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper. That's it, really clean and simple. All right, so first step, we're gonna add the flour that we made out of the blanched almonds into our food processor. Okay, and then Christelle, do you wanna add in the breadcrumbs? Yeah, absolutely. So what's so interesting about this is that in southern Spain, so they would do this as a snack because it's so hot down there in Andalusia. Soaked water bre breadcrumbs? Soak breadcrumbs, soak bread itself, and they would make their own soups with that. Wow. So, then they, so traditionally they use the in. stale bread, so it's a way to make sure that not anything gets wasted, which exactly. is kind of cool. All right, and then we're going to dump in the cucumbers okay, okay. and just reserve a little bit for our garnish. Okay. And then we're going to put the grapes right in there too. Christelle's gonna throw in that olive oil for us. Yeah, here we go, a little olive oil. Pa dentro! Woo! And oh we've got God. our white vinegar, one clove of garlic, and then it's just a little tiny bit of the parsley. Okay, mama. You crack the pepper, <laughs> I'll crack the salt. <laughs> How much do you want, mama, like that? Good. Okay, so all the ingredients are in yep. there. Okay, here we nice go, <laughs> Looks good, looks nice and creamy. All right, soup's chilling. Let's get grooving, huh? Okay, <laughs> let's do it. So you're gonna gather that juicy, yummy energy, gather it up, ooh, 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 wrap it around you. And here we go in the first step of Here I Am. Here I Am. Eso. Eso. Beautiful. And one, two. Okay, soup's chilly, time to boogie. Mmm, looking good. Silky smooth, look at this, gorgeous. You can really make this very visually appealing very easily, you guys. Just a little bit of cracked pepper. Drizzle some really high quality olive oil over the top. I'm gonna throw some of this in. Oh gosh, it's looking gorgeous. Wow. And for some color, we got some champagne grapes as well. Very pretty. Nice touch. Yeah, and you can sprinkle the almonds if you okay. want, Christelle. Taking some almendras here. So I've got some mint here, menta. I'm gonna take it and shred up a couple little pieces. These are like Greek sour grapes, really tiny and super sour, but I'm a tart freak, so I'm putting them in there. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Should we sit down and enjoy this? Or yes, what? mamo. Cheers, baby. Mamo, <laughs> I'm making a mess. It's okay. Mmm. Oh my goodness, it came out so good. Mmm. Wow. It's so smooth. So I brought Nicole's Spanish hat. I just thought we could spice it up a little bit. And I also wanted to tell you a little bit about what I've been up to. Yes, tell us, you have a film coming out soon, right? Yeah, so I'm actually, right now I'm working on a film about an intergenerational relationship between my mentor and I, Alicia. So it's a story about overcoming challenges as fuel for growth and then empowering others with the tools of home the flamenco. Ooh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. And I recently had surgery and I've been out of commission for a bit, so this creative project was my way of finding uh, meaning with this injury and finding a way to reach out to others and hopefully inspire them to get back up on their feet no matter what happens. Yes! So yeah, you can do it! Power! <laughs> Alright, so if people want to see the film or find out more about it, where can they connect with you? Yeah, definitely. They can connect with us on Instagram at Dancing Souls Film. Okay. And then also on our website, Dancing Souls with two S's dot com. Awesome. Yeah, we'll be teaching some flamenco moves. I can't too. wait to see it. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Live well. Olé! Olé.